We've seen the last of Intel's 14 nanometer Skylake architecture with the release of Comet Lake CPUs, with the chip giant now focusing on next generation cores to be utilized in its upcoming desktop and mobility families. Skylake lasted several generations and got various iterations on a very refined 14 nanometer process, but the next generation 10 nanometer and 7 nanometer lineups are going to bring incremental IPC gains. Rumors on what to expect from Intel's next generation CPU cores have been posted by Mibu, I think that's right, who just a few days ago gave us the first look at AMD's next generation Warhol and Raphael desktop processors. Now the rumor doesn't actually come from him, but a Weibo user in China who has seemingly hinted at the IPC gains of Intel's next generation cores. We know that after Skylake, Intel's roadmap included three major core updates. These include Sunny Cove, which is featured on Ice Lake CPUs, Willow Cove, which will be featured on the upcoming Tiger Lake CPUs, and lastly we have Golden Cove cores, which will be featured on Alder Lake CPUs. There's also a post-core architecture CPU that will feature Ocean Cove cores, which are due for 2022 to 2023. We already know that Sunny Cove brought an average IPC gain of 18% over Skylake, and the next generation cores are further expected to increase IPC for Intel CPUs. Intel has gone with the five years of no incremental IPC gains over the desktop platform, which has led to severe degradation in performance efficiency over the years. The main competitor, AMD of course, went guns blazing with Zen-based Ryzen CPUs offering both increased IPC and improved efficiency. In all three variations of Zen we have gotten since 2017, this has been the case. Now AMD has strengthened their IPC footprint against Intel causing a major shift in IPC efficiency leadership. Intel knowing that they couldn't survive any longer with no incremental IPC increases and dependency on clock speeds which doesn't bode well for the new process nodes which compared to a mature 14 nanometer design is looking to regain its lost lead with upcoming CPU architectures. We got a small glimpse of Intel's next generation core architectures when they officially presented them back in 2018, but word has been pretty much silent on the development of these cores since then. We know that Tiger Lake with Willow Cove on 10 nanometer plus is coming soon and would feature IPC improvements owing to its new and revamped design. Now if the rumor is true, Willow Cove brings a slight bump in IPC over Sunny Cove, but the new and revamped design should help it gain a foothold in the efficiency department. This is considering that Willow Cove for mobility platforms will be available in the second half of 2020, whereas AMD's Zen 3 architecture, which brings significant IPC improvements itself, will not be available for the mobility segment until 2021. With that said, desktop release of Zen 3 CPU architecture could end up going right against Intel's Rocket Lake lineup, which is expected to feature the new Willow Cove cores, so we might get a clear picture of where AMD and Intel stand in terms of IPC later this year. As for the two architectures that secede Willow Cove, the rumor points to a huge IPC gains, with Willow Cove delivering about 50% improvement over Skylake and Ocean Cove with an 80% IPC improvement over Skylake again. It is also stated that Golden Cove would utilize the 10 nanometer plus plus while Ocean Cove would utilize 7 nanometer or 7 nanometer plus technology from Intel. AMD is expected to hop on the 5 nanometer bandwagon when Zen 4 launches so the red team is still going to have a lead in terms of process technology over Intel for several years to come. Now in another tweet it was also shared that the rumor of the performance of the Alder Lake S desktop CPUs which are expected to use a hybrid big little hierarchy according to the rumor an A plus 8 core Alder Lake CPU design does outperform the Ryzen 9 3950X with 16 cores and 32 threads. At the same time, Zen 4 would be a hard beat against a hybrid design against 16 full-fledged Ryzen cores. It looks like Intel is going to lag behind AMD in the number of cores and threads offered on its CPU as it has become apparent to this generation of the mainstream platform. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.